What does one say to a two-year-old child whose mother has been murdered by terrorists in a massacre and whose father is being held captive by terrorists for 100 years? and seven days. It's unimaginable. Elmog Levy is being cared for by his grandparents. His 32-year-old mother, Enav, was murdered at the Nova Festival on the 7th of October, and his 33-year-old father, Or, was abducted. So for more, we now welcome Michael Levy, brother of Or Levy, who is being held hostage inside Gaza. He joins us from Tel Aviv. What do you say? to a two-year-old wondering what has happened to their parents. I cannot imagine. Thank you so much for speaking to us. What do you share with a child that young? What can you say to a two-year-old son who lost his mother? I mean, it's it's unimaginable. That's, I think it's the toughest thing we had to do, to tell him that his mother won't come back and that his father is held by a monster somewhere in the tunnels of Gaza. He didn't get a hug from his parents for 107 days. That's, I think that's the only thing that we have to remember. And we are trying to show him love and hug him, but it will never be the same as his parents. It certainly is beyond devastating. Our hearts are with you and your family. How are little Elmog's grandparents handling? How are they managing? One, one cannot imagine. Um, we are doing our best. They mm -hmm. are doing their best. Uh, just imagine the fact that they have to become parents again uh, after they they were already grandparents, and they are not used to it. And add to that the fact that uh, they are sad about the loss of Einav, and the fact that they are worried and don't do not sleep and do not eat because they think about all every second of the day. But uh, Almog is a. Uh, it is bigger than the fact that we have to raise the raise Almog is, is bigger than us, and we have to be strong for him. I think uh, this is the only thing that uh, helps them wake up every morning. Certainly, the whole nation, the heart of the whole nation, is with you and your family. It is a pain that is difficult to comprehend. We're looking at the same time as we're talking to you at these magnificent pictures of Or and Enav. Talk to us about the last confirmation, the last time your family had any contact about Or and the fact that he was abducted and his condition. What is the latest confirmation, verified information that you have about Or? Unfortunately, the only thing we know about all is that he was abducted uh, alive and that he wasn't injured. But that's the only thing we know. Um, we are uh, obviously concerned. We know that they have to be back. He, we have to bring him back. And that's the only message I want to pass to everyone tonight. I want the prime minister and the cabinet and the government to understand that we have no time. We have to bring them back now. So when there are talks of a deal and there are recurrent talks of deals, but even as recently as today, what do you make of the efforts to secure the release of the hostages? It's complicated, there's no doubt about it, but what is your sense, your confidence in the decision makers right now, how they are prioritizing getting home all the hostages? I want to believe that uh, they know that whatever they will achieve in this uh, war won't be won't worth anything if they won't release the hostages. 
and and that they are not back alive. Uh, whatever they will do, that's the only thing that they have to remember now. You will no doubt know that in recent days there were reports about medicine eventually getting through into Gaza and that it was going to be distributed to the hostages there. Obviously, the huge concern is verified information that it actually does, in fact, happen. But as a family member waiting for 107 days, talk to us about your thoughts about Firstly, the Red Cross not getting access to any hostages. And secondly, your trust in the process right now that medicines will get to the hostages in captivity right now, 107 days. Honestly, I have zero trust uh, in both the Red Cross and uh, the fact that they will get their medicines. We are dealing with monsters and we are dealing with uh, an organization that didn't do anything in order to help the hostages besides driving them from Gaza into Israel uh, when there was uh, the deal. So if this is what the Red Cross uh, thinks uh, they should do, I think they have to think again. Well, we certainly will be waiting to see some level of confirmation about the follow-up, in other words, the medicines that are supposedly getting there. But again, that proof is something we are all waiting to see firsthand. Tell us a bit about Aura. I understand he taught himself computer programming. He was part of a successful startup. Tell us more. Uh, Aura is, uh, is my uh, little brother, my little uh, genius brother, actually. <laughs> Uh, as the oldest brother, uh, it always uh, it always amazed me how smart he is and how things that uh, I've worked so hard uh, to achieve, he achieved in a second uh, without even uh, doing too much. Uh, he's always happy. Uh, always smiling, as you can see on the pictures, always surrounded by friends. An amazing father. I'm sure that he thinks about Almog every day, every second of the day. And I, I know that he's uh, strong and uh, that he stays strong just because he knows that Almog uh, is there and is waiting for him. Our thoughts are with little Almog and all your family. We wait for good news. We hope for good news of Aura Levy, that he should be reunited with his son and all your family. Our hearts are with you. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Michael Levy, speaking to us from Tel Aviv. We wait for good news. Thank you very much for speaking to us on I24 News. Thank you so much.